Hello guys, today I want to show you how to customize one of the modules in our quick admin panel called audit logs. It will be also useful to those of you who want to observe the changes on the model even without quick admin panel. So it's kind of like a lesson in Laravel as well. So first how it works. Our module audit logs allows you to observe the changes on the models. If you install that, which I did, and then go to your any menus CRUDs, you can enable that for a particular CRUD. So show more options, use audit logs or not. If you enable it for a particular CRUD, then the audit logs table will be filled with all the changes on that particular CRUD. And I have installed that demo project locally. Here's how it works. If you add a record, add a project, I will use fake filler Chrome extension. You save and then you go to user management audit logs. And then you see the record, what was created, which subject ID, model and user ID and where from. And also in the database, it's not shown in the table, but in the database, in the table audit logs, there's also a field called properties, which contains all the values of that new model. And same happens when you update the model. So for example, you go to projects, edit, add something like dot, dot, dot. And then in audit logs, there will be updated records. So here's updated. And then in the database, you will have the new properties values, including the updated name. Now, how it works in the code. If we go to view code in our quick admin panel on the model of project, there's auditable trait. So first we use app traits auditable, which is public. It's not from Laravel. It's totally editable by yourself. And then if you enable that module for this particular CRUD, then the trait is included. And what is inside that trait? It's pretty simple actually. App traits auditable. I will zoom that a little bit. So it fires the boot method of that model. And on all the changes created, updated or deleted, it calls self audit which just fills in the table of audit logs. Nothing really fancy here. And now the question from one of our customers was, how do I customize that so it would fire only on some fields or the other way around, that it would be prevented from fire if I change certain fields for certain CRUDs. And here's the customized code for you. I've done it manually on my local project. I have added this condition. So you can make that edit directly in the trade or you can override that method of boot auditable directly in the model, suit yourself. But I've just added this condition. So I get updated fields, model get dirty, which will return which fields were updated during that update. Let's try it out and I will show you what I mean. DD updated fields. And if I try to edit that, so projects, edit, and then dot 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 again. I will zoom it in a bit. So what we edited, name and then updated at is updated automatically, right? So this is exactly what I'm checking in the code. If the class of that model is project or whatever class you want, then count of those updated fields equals two, which means any other field and updated at. And the field I'm interested in, for example, I want to prevent audit log from being fired if its checkbox is active or not. So if I just changed is active checkbox, then I don't fire audit log, I just return. Let's delete that and try again. So let's try again to edit something and audit logs should contain the record. So audit logs updated works. But if I change only the checkbox here, active or inactive, save, then this condition is fired and then user management audit logs does not contain the new record. So basically the tip is that you can add some if conditions or more statements in your auditable trait for whatever models or the fields you want. So this was the quick demo of the module itself and some tip how to customize that. Hope it was helpful.